And I would like to end the day with a practice of loving kindness. <laughs> As I usually do. I can't resist. <laughs> so that we've cultivated perception, but we've also cultivated, actively cultivated a bit of metta in our hearts. And this also enables us to share any benefits from the day with others as well. And I'd like to bring to mind straight away Sally's mother. Sally was here earlier as one of the uh, London Insight co-hosts and she had to leave early because her mom's not well. So I did promise her that we would think of her in our metta practice. So just holding Sally's mother in our heart as well. We'll be spreading to all beings, so I'll be guiding it. So she'll be included and anyone else who's dear to you, who needs a bit of metta will be included there as well. And for this metta practice, it's especially important to be comfortable. So see if there's anything you can do to add that little bit of extra comfort. In other words, something you might even feel is indulgent. I can assure you it's not. <laughs> an extra blanket, an extra pillow behind your head. Stretching out one leg, whatever it is. This is part of establishing a kind relationship to our body. Make sure you're warm enough, cool enough. So just a 15 minutes metta meditation. Starting again by establishing a sense of mindfulness along with kindness as you just gently scan through the body, giving your body permission to relax. Sometimes it's so instinctive to just hunch the shoulders slightly or lurch forward or slump back. You might want to just gently rock or roll your shoulders to find the optimum position. So that all tension can be released. Noticing your hands, whether you're holding them tightly, whether they could use a little more space, your feet, your ankles, Ensuring they're not squashed. Pressing into your shin. If you're sitting on a chair, you may wish to check whether your feet are directly under your knees or moving them an inch or two further out might release any pressure on those knees. And allowing your legs to relax. And to start this metta, again, only a suggestion. You might imagine looking upon yourself with kindly eyes, the way a Buddha might look upon you. As though you're in the presence of a very benevolent, wise and compassionate presence or being. A being who will not be judging you, measuring you, having any expectation at all. 
but who recognizes your inner potential, the beauty in your heart, your integrity on this spiritual path. Imagine being seen in this way, regarded with such kindly, benevolent eyes. Smiling inside to your own heart with friendship and kindness. And if you wish, offering yourself some phrases, intentions, thoughts of loving kindness, tailor made for you. such as may I be happy, may I be free, may I be peaceful, may I live at ease, it can be just one wish that really resonates for you at this time. And imagining, imagine offering this to your own heart, like a beautiful gift, beautiful jewel. Just saying those words, kindly, clearly, Sincerely. And listening in the space between each phrase to the resonance of this beautiful, loving wish for yourself. Noticing any effects in the heart, maybe a slight softening, maybe resistance, whatever it is, that's fine. Just trusting in the power of these intentions to plant the seeds of loving kindness in your heart. And staying connected to yourself, to your sensations. You may wish to invite a dear friend in. Someone with whom you wish to share this love and kindness. The sort of person that brings a smile 
to your lips and to your heart. Maybe a best friend, a partner, a pet, a benefactor. And gently offer them thoughts and intentions of loving kindness. If you feel the loving kindness flowing naturally, you can let go of the words. Just imagining bathing them in a beautiful golden light, seeing their facial features relax, their eyes perhaps sparkle. keeping them here close to your heart just allowing this metta to spread to everyone in this room including Sally and her mom who were Sally was with us a while ago anyone else who was practicing with us who had to leave all of us here May we be happy, may we be well. Imagining a golden light shining upon all of us, warming our hearts, soothing any sorrow, any pain. And as we share this loving kindness, it multiplies, becomes stronger until it starts to spread outward and unbounded in all directions to all beings. Imagining this metta just flowing out like sunlight that shines on your neighborhood, your city, your country, and beyond to overseas. Lingering in any place where maybe you have family or friends. On any place where people are suffering at this time in general or particular ways. May all beings be happy, be safe, be free from anxiety. May they all get the support that they need. May all beings live at peace and dwell compassionate with rod and weapon laid aside. All beings human or non-human, all animals, birds, 
insects, creatures in the rivers, lakes and sea, all breathing beings to the east, the west, the north and south, all beings above and below. May they all receive our loving kindness. May they dwell at ease. Imagining this whole world shining with a golden glow that even starts to spread to other planets where there may be other life forms. Healing all suffering, bringing peace. And just rest here for a moment, enjoying this spacious, wide open heart and mind. Imagining a world, a universe at peace. And slowly in your own time, gently drawing in your awareness back to your area of the world, to your city, your village, your home. back into your body sitting, recognizing this being who is yourself and just holding yourself with that same compassionate, tender, loving kindness, recognizing you too deserve peace. Allow yourself to experience any pleasant feelings, emotions of loving kindness, however subtle, however humble they may be. Just staying gently with any pleasant experience of body or mind. And I'll end with a little blessing chant. You can just absorb or allow to wash through. Sabe Sata Sabe Pana Sabe Buddha, Sabe Purgala, Sabe Atta Bawa Pariyapana, Sabe Yetiyo, Sabe Purisa, Sabe Ariya, 
Sabe Deva Sabe Manusa Sabe Vene Padika Awe Rahon Tu Abe Apajahon Tu Ani gahon tu Sukiatanam pariharan tu Dukha munjan tu Yadalada sampatito Mawe gachan tu Kama Saka So that ends our day. Some of you are eager to do the big sadhus. So <laughs> those who know them and wish to join, please do so. Otherwise, you can laugh at how silly it seems. So traditionally at the end of a chanting or the end of a Dhamma talk, we say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. It means like well done, or it could be translated as awesome. And my teacher Ajahn Brown does it with gusto. So let's go. Sadhu. 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 <laughs> <laughs>